everybody. So today I'm wanting to share with you my first, this is a project share. Um, this is my first design team project for Want to Scrap chipboard and um, embellishments. They sell, uh, if you watched my DT package, they do sell chipboard mini albums. They sell um, flatback pearls, uh, self, you know, self-adhesive kind, um, sentiment, uh, chipboard embellishment, just different embellish embellishments, overlays, laces, paper, um, just a variety of things. So I'll put the link to their shop down in the description box. So I don't want to make this a long video because I already tried this before and it was kind of long. Um, normally I was supposed to do a video tutorial but it actually took way too long. I I hadn't, hadn't really done one before. I really didn't think it was going to be that hard for me but um, now I know the reason why I haven't done one because I just take too long trying to decide where to put things and I really, I personally like seeing a tutorial that goes kind of fast. I don't like um, to have to sit there and just watch someone do something like what I was doing. So yeah, so anyhow, so I did record like I say the big like half of it and then when I started embellishing I kind of just um, lost, lost my, um, I just couldn't really do it no more so. Anyhow, um, this here is the vintage handbag, vintage purse. Um, this is one of uh, May Larson designs that well, that she did when she uh, designed for their company, and um, I, as some of you know, I love anything vintage, uh, paper, anything. So this handbag, I knew I wanted to do. Um, and so originally, like I said, this was going to be my tutorial, but it, of course it's a mini album and it took me too long. So anyhow, um, so it's thundering, so hopefully I can get through this. Um, so what I did is I just started by painting all, uh, you know, I took off the ring because it comes with a little ring here. I took that off. I painted all the edges about, about an inch, half inch just with some uh, folk art vintage white acrylic paint um, just so you can't see you know the chipboard as you can see it's just you know you can just barely see the, the paint the color and then um, I picked out my papers I went ahead and got one of the pages um, and I just traced out what I was going to use of the pattern paper the design paper I just um, you know traced them out and then I it didn't really matter too much if they were even a little bit longer um, only because I knew I was going to distress the edges so after I cut all my patterns out and actually I made little holes here so I made two extra little holes there and so I after I did that, I started putting my paper, well, before I put the paper, I distressed the edges, like I said, and I used this tool here from Prima. And once in a while, I'd use this one, but you can also use scissors as well to distress your papers if you don't have those tools. And so, and like I said, you don't have to paint the edges, but I like, I like doing that to my mini albums. Um, the other thing I had thought of using, but then I didn't, was these distress stains but I didn't really have a light one so anyhow um so then after that um I went ahead and after I distressed that the edges I applied some ink all along the edges this is the antique linen and so I went all along the edges and then I adhered the pages down now I use Fabri-Tac like almost for everything. I'll use my hot glue gun for some things but I won't adhere. This is just me personally but I really don't like adhering with the glue gun paper. 
on chipboard or paper to paper because I feel like it eventually comes off and so I use Fabri-Tac for everything and so far everything is held um, you can use an ATG gun if you have one or um, I know you can use like even like tacky glue Ailey's tacky glue you can also use where did I do that uh, this uh, score tape but this I only use this once in a while I don't use it too often um, so that's like I say personal preference but that's my choice um, it, it you know I usually buy a couple bottles and then because um, I go through them fairly quick and um, use coupons of course so if you're new to working with your board that's my recommendation you, you know there's tons of tutorials out there but this is what I did um, and then another thing um, what did I do after that oh so after I put the paper of course I started embellishing I began with doing the back and I, this is kind of like my favorite page <laughs> Um, I wanted it to look like a vintage handbag of sorts and so I had this black um, this is what I had kind of left this black um, mesh bling it's like a these it, it comes like in a big roll and um, that's what I had left and so I used that and then these flat back pearls here came from this pack um, there comes 250 as you can see I have all the tiny ones I used all the bigger ones and luckily I had just enough and so um, I adhered those actually using this because of the fine tip this is recollections mixed media adhesive so this worked really well for those small spots you know so I love that page and then as you can see here in the front I did the same and I only had enough to do these two. If not, I would have probably done an extra row. Um, and so then after I did that, like I say, I I had each page separately. So I, I did do, I put them all together at the end. Um, this was the next one I did. This pocket here is a glassine bag. All I did was fold it in like a, maybe like, Fold it in like maybe like a fourth in and then I adhered it and then um, I distressed the edges using the um, this uh, vintage vintage photo um, distress ink and then um, I distressed the paper as well and I put, put some trim that I had in my stash this chipboard is from the collection this here I used that from this this um, piece that I got here I, I liked it because it was kind of small and and the and the way I use that is I have this embossing ink so being that it's tiny you know the it's kind of delicate this is the one I use because normally I do use this kind of embossing but you can use any kind you want on your chipboard as long as it's embossing powder of course I mean uh, ink and then this is the the embossing powder that I use this is Cindy's Stamp Gang Hibiscus Rose Orange so this is one of my favorite ones that I like using so it went really well with this collection um, paper collection and like the color scheme and then I just went ahead and used some burlap petaloo flowers and prima flowers just for I didn't want to over you can't really overdo it you know because it's kind of um, you don't want it too bulky and then this page here I went ahead and oops my page is coming off I'm thinking I might put some um, grommets or what are the I can't remember what they're called but I, I might put those here so it doesn't destroy the paper. I'm not positive though if I'll do that. But here I went ahead and made a photo mat even though you know I figured you could still use this part here but I did want to put this 
chipboard piece here. This is uh, one of the flourish that comes in the, the four pack. I did um, emboss it with the same embossing powder. For that one I did use this embossing because it has a, a dauber at the end. So that's what I used there. And then this paper flower I think is from Michaels, I think. Um, I didn't want to overdo it with embellishments because of the paper. And it's already busy enough so I kind of wanted to keep it simple. This other page I just kept it really simple because I like that it has a flower there and um, this die um, of those photo mats is this one from Heartfelt Creations. Um, it's an eyelet oval and you can do all those different dies, uh, die cuts just with that one die so that's kind of neat. Um, this side here I used, uh, I mean I, I just made kind of like a little um, waterfall photo mat there. You can add photos, journal on the back side. And then this came from the little um, pack that came, a packet of two. It's one of their Silhouette products. It's really thin, thin cardstock, or like I think it's like cardstock. It's just extremely thin. And then I just used a, a chipboard embellishment from their color, from this collection. Uh, same on this. I didn't want to overdo it with embellishing, so I just put the black photo mat and three flowers on there. Um, this side here. I did another waterfall using journaling cards. Um, same with flowers, Prima and Petaloo um, flowers. These uh, sorrels here are from this. I'm dropping everything here. This um, couture or yeah, couture swirls pack, and I'll list what I used in the description box. Um, I really like these and so I did use those there. Cut them up and used them there. And then this page here, I cut up half a doily. I didn't want it too bright white so I um, used the antique linen distress ink to kind of tone it, you know, so it wouldn't be so bright. So I did, like I said, I cut half the doily to use that as my pocket or tuck spot. Some more flowers. Um, I can't remember where this flower is from. I think this is a spare parts flower. Um, yeah, I think it's a paper studio um, spare parts flower. And uh, these other ones are Prima flowers. And then I was going to put a photo mat here, but then I changed my mind. And so I put a chipboard and another chipboard to get there. On this side here, is another one of those really pretty um, photo mats. I love these. And I just added a couple flowers there and a chipboard key from the paper line as well. Um, and then the front here, um, same flowers, Petaloo. Uh, some of these are Prima. Uh, what else did I do? I really like this one here. Uh, this chipboard piece here is the frame is from the four pack. Um, this one right here. So they were good size. If you can see that, this one was a little bit smaller, but I used I went ahead with that one because I don't want it to be too big on this. So I had this image in my um, uh, in my stash. So I, I like. You know, that she had roses, and this paper has roses, so kind of went with the collection. Um, and I used the same embossing powder as well. I put some more um, of the Flourish uh, pearls there. A moment in time. Uh, that's from the uh, chipboard embellishment. And then, like I say, this kind of goes with the back. And then... Like I said, I punched some holes here, uh, two more holes, and because I just found it easier for me to turn the pages. Um, so, um, 
and then the seam binding I got from the consignment shop. So I really like the color. I think it, it was probably hand dyed. I'm not sure though, but this is how it came and I really liked it. So yeah, so this was my project. Um, I, uh, I hope that you like what I came up with and um, that you'll go take a look at the Want to Scrap page. Um, their website, they're constantly having sales uh, weekly, bi-weekly, and, um, and what else? Yeah, I'll put the links down in the description. They also have a Facebook page um, for, if you know, whatever you create, you can share it, you know, with, with us on there. And so, yeah, I hope that um, you got an idea of what you can do with these chipboard albums. Um, there's also a tutorial that uh, May did, and she used like a lot of laces and stuff. Um, and of course, you all know my thing is paper, so I just wanted to give it a different, just show you a different way you can do it um, if you're not a lace person or you, you know. So, like, there's not too much lace on here, so uh, if you're just a paper person, then you can do something simple like this. Um, and I'm hoping this weekend, this week I can do something a little more simple, um, and it'll be a tutorial, hopefully, even if it's just a picture tutorial and snap guide. Um, but, um, anyhow, I hope that you liked my video. Thank you for watching, and I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and to Want to Scrap channel as well. And, um, please leave a comment if you have any questions regarding this project or, you know, anything else, please, um, comment below and I will get back to you. So, uh, anyway, well, I hope you all ha had a really nice weekend and I hope that you have a great week ahead and I will talk to you soon. Hopefully I can get this uploaded today. So I will talk to you all later. Bye.